Steve Burton and co-star Ingo Rademacher were fired from General Hospital in November due to the show's stance on the vaccine mandate. The government's vaccination requirement for workers was struck down by the Supreme Court. Does this mean we'll see Jason Morgan and Jasper Jacks again on the ABC soap? Why I don't think that will happen. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration's OSHA employer mandate was challenged in court multiple times. As a result of the OSHA regulation, several state attorneys general and private businesses filed lawsuits. All of these instances were consolidated by the Sixth Circuit Court, which then sustained the mandates. The case went all the way up to the Supreme Court, where it was ultimately dismissed. But in the end, it had little to do with what was really happening behind the scenes at General Hospital. Why? The OSHA regulation that ABC was supposed to follow by instituting their VAX policy did not exist at the time. Instead, Disney, the parent business, instituted stringent regulations. In fact, the Walt Disney Company has a VAX policy everywhere except for one department. Those photos were taken in Florida, home to Disney World. Why? That's because the state threatened to penalize them if they went ahead with it. So, the Supreme Court case did not result in the dismissal of either Steve Burton or Ingo Regmacher. Nothing about that verdict is going to change anything. Why? Vaccination requirements by employers are still permitted by law. The court only ruled that the government cannot mandate that it be done by private companies. Do you see what I mean? This means that the Disney regulation is still in effect. Therefore, Burton and Ravimacher can't participate until they acquire the required vaccinations. For the foreseeable future, coronavirus will be manageable. Moreover, vaccinations aren't necessary today. That time period is completely open. Perhaps General Hospital will rehire Steve Burton if the healthcare system undergoes a dramatic transformation. As Jason Morgan, he looks excited to reprise his role. However, he is as steadfast in his refusal to get vaccinated due to religious convictions. After quitting his Jason role on G8, he has not yet landed any new acting roles on his IMDb page. The possibility of Steve's return to the young and the restless has been speculated about by many viewers. From 2013 through 2017, he portrayed decent officer Dylan McAvoy on Y&R, however. He may be prohibited from returning to CBS due to the company's vaccination policy. Disney's policy is different from what CBS has in place. A yellow alert means vaccinations are necessary. When they reach the green phase, though, they might change their minds. The levels of alarm over the spread of coronavirus correspond to those phases. Even though court cases have been decreasing, you never know when CBS slash Y&R will give the all clear. If this is the case, then who can say for sure? Perhaps Burton will revisit his old haunts. There is currently zero likelihood of his return to General Hospital. Steve Burton's and Igo Redmacher's situations couldn't be more dissimilar. Word on the soap's backlot is that the former gave them fair warning that he wouldn't cooperate. Additionally, they scripted Jason's departure from the plot. A difference in approach is said to have existed between how Ingo and Jax dealt with their respective departures. Burton expressed his gratitude and promised to return. Raidmacher, however, filed a lawsuit against Disney for wrongful firing and may have permanently damaged relations between the two companies. Because of this, his final scene had a sudden exit when Jax left Port Charles. Jasper Jax Jack's return to General Hospital now appears like a much longer shot. Actors who sue their employers are almost never asked to repeat their roles. Both Ingo Redmacher and Tim Burton's MDB pages are empty of forthcoming projects. His lawsuit against ABC slash General Hospital slash Disney is based on a claim of religious discrimination, see above. He has charged discrimination and is now demanding compensation. That pretty much puts an end to any talk of rehiring him. Disney is not budging from its stance. In addition, according to a recent CNN investigation, over half of all businesses already have such a policy in place or want to continue using it. The Supreme Court decision does not affect their autonomy to set company policies as they see fit. Therefore, Steve Burton did not have his status altered as a result of the Supreme Court verdict. This means he has effectively abandoned Jason Morgan for the time being.